All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to another OU battle with truly really the Scarander. And they're going to against Patrick and uh, from Twitter. And I'm really excited to see what he brings to the table. As um, we have tried to set up before, but kind of missed the mark. I'm, I'm usually doing Sunday 7 p.m. my time, um, and uh, it's like a short window. I try to do as many battles as possible. So we kind of time to chat now. And um, yeah, this looks awesome. Um, it's not a trick room team, I think, but a lot of trick room, um, not environments, but rather, how do you say it? And there are things here that absolutely are benefiting to what someone will play with trick room in mind. Um, now with Umbreon, it kind of forced me to not be as ferocious with BHM as I want to. I think Mirage is a rather safe lead, even though Configuricus could be annoying, Sarud is doing well as long as um, well I guess as long as Congeller is not absolutely eating me alive which it should because it does um, 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 um could you say my Culverberry for that actually to just gauge it do I want to lead off with I kind of feel this is my right lead uh, leading off with Inteleon or Azenteo to just really do as much damage as possible versus Whatever lead he want to try to go with, I feel that both Umbreon and um, Sanaconda are easy leads. And if you want to be very scary, he could lead off with Melodic, which I believe in theory beats um, <laughs> Inteleon. If he leads off with Conkildur, then it's not like I have a switch in. Let's see. Sir Seraskral. Oh, yeah. That's an Ava log. So I'm going to go for. Um, thing is it could be sturdy right I gotta focus energy I think that's fair enough I wonder what he was predicting I think it makes sense that we try to leave with maybe Mirage something like that body press how much will that do mm-hmm roughly half will it do <laughs> like I said I think it's sturdy um, so dark pulls and basically hope for the flinch or crit. Damn, damn, that's rough. All right, cool. Um, you always want to go sturdy on Avalog. I say that because I made a mistake myself far too many times already. <laughs> um, so play with the idea. Can Conkelders? Mag Punch KO me? I believe Sniper Shot breaks through... I have actually no idea. I don't know whether or not this breaks through his um, Assault Vest, if that's a set. I'm still going to attack, because it makes the most amount of sense. But I just don't know. I actually didn't go for... Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think it does. I think it does. Noctail. All right, and I think this is gonna be a Pokemon I can't beat with Snipe Shot. I'm gonna do as much damage as possible. Because the thing is, I think a Soulless Conkeldor beats that set, but I'm not sure. Oh my god. Foul play, okay. Oh, so not an Inteleon sweep. You know what? I think that's fair. Um, if I were to think for a second, I feel I have a free setup going now that I know that his Conkeldor is gone. Um, so I'm actually going to go for a rather free bulk up. And uh, if it goes with Foul Play, so be it. Because of Moon Blast, I don't believe that's the worst thing in the world. And to go for Toxic, I have Jungle Healing. Let's see. Because I don't want to get that easy, easy PC play. I want to see Sad Attack. Okay, so I guess we're attacking. That's actually. That's new. <laughs> Did not expect that. So I guess we're killing you then. Go for the throats. <laughs> Bad dog. 
Okay. <laughs> so at minus one accuracy, I think I my power whip is now 75 accuracy instead of 85. And versus a melodic, that could be troublesome. I love these nicknames, however. Bella Mask. You can't do anything to me though, can ya? Let's see, remaining mons are... Oh yeah. Like, I want to steal that Wandering Spirit. Or the Mummy ability, I think. But I also want to bulk up. What can it do? Like, Nightshade? Shadow Balls shouldn't do anything. Um, I I'm kind of worried. I don't know what it will do. Body what is this with body presses? <laughs> Look at that. That did incredible amount of damage. Sure, I'm saving myself somewhat with bulk up from it, but it does... It doesn't, you know, mm, it does a lot, and I don't like it. Oh no, okay, here we go. I remember. You're gonna go for that max move on me? You crazy man. You crazy man. Do You're gonna get plus one attack, right? That's that's the like that's the end game here. I'm still gonna get my bulk up going. But I don't know how strong is this mod really? Um. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, I have um, I have a decision to make, and I think I could either decide to wrap up the game, or I could showcase that I don't need the Dynamax to win. But since I'm a pussy, I'm I'm probably joining his league here. If you want to, if you want Dynamax, then so will I. <laughs> I guess the only thing I regret it if you go to Dynamax that you know, I have, I have my Gmax potion on my uh, Intellion in case somebody wanted to showcase their prowess, and I kind of want to get myself in there too. But I feel Patrick is, you know, he tried his best here, and he's, I got a very nasty momentum early, and it kind of just steamrolled for there. Let's see, I did not knock it out, did I? It's Sam. Well. Well, he got me. Then he got me then. Shit. Um, that means Sarud will not participate in, in the sweep. But, um, let's see how much the leftovers give me, really. Yeah, it gives me nothing. It, the recovery is based on my ground based move, like I've never really necessarily um, thought about that all too much, but I'll be honest though, like this set of Sarud, which I will call the Finch set based on Finch from YouTube, uh, which is a smoking OU admin, I had a blast talking with him uh, when I had the chance, but he used his bulk up set together with Throat Shop and um, Power Whip. Originally it actually had Darkest Lariat over Throat Shop, but it was just such a no-brainer to abuse like Sylveon, which was such an easy switch into this, to uh, to shut it down actually. And um, I fully agree. Like Frochop makes a few mods less viable for a strength exchange that doesn't necessarily like it doesn't feel all that bad. All right here we go. Just going to knock him out and then hope I can connect that with I guess Malotic. Gotta say though, like this set really worked, and I used Saru with Scarf before because I thought that set was like the ideal set. But uh, this set with Jungle Healing, which basically gives you 25 HP plus recovers your status, is the best anti-stall Pokemon we got because the defensive um, like Poison Stallers can't do anything to this set. Um, sure, they can hit it super effectively with Poison moves, but most of them tend to not have that uh, accessibility or rather doesn't have that power output usually rely on toxic to do the main damage for them let's see miss the first one here comes hydro pump fine and that will do 
All right. So, as long as it doesn't have Ice Beam, I guess it doesn't make sense. And I think my opponent kind of kind of wrapped up or, you know, felt that I got a very early momentum and that didn't let off. Inteleon just broke this team apart. Sarun just finished what Inteleon started. But I really appreciated this team. There we go. And that's going to be a GG. I mean, we're plus three. Come on, there is there is no coming back for that. So, Patrick, thank you so much for the game. Um, what else can I say besides get that Avalog study? Um, and this team is actually... I, I'll say it like it is. Sarud is doing some heavy lifting for all the games I had so far. And uh, I couldn't like it more than I do right now. It does so well. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching. And, uh, well, have a great day, everyone. Take care.